Hello YouTube, so I'll be showing off one of the projects I made using Ready to Program Java and the name of this project is called the Tower of Hanoi Game. So pretty much what I did was a fully documented Tower of Hanoi Game. It essentially plays a Tower of Hanoi Game with nice graphics and there's an explanation of all the variables and basically how this application works. So I'm just going to provide a quick tour of the application. So here's the actual game. Inside here you have different options within the menu. So let's see, go to instructions. Here it teaches you how to play the game. So after you see how the game works, essentially what the game is is there's a pyramid and you need to move the top point to any other point, but you can only move it one segment at a time. And you want to move the left most pyramid to the right side. You can only put a small piece on top of a bigger piece. So I'll show this once I actually get to the point. So here you select the level you want, so just easy, medium, hard, start with easy, and just type in um, my name. So here we have the actual console, and we have our move number. So you begin by selecting the first tower for the third point, 1 to 2, 3 to 2, etc. And you slowly move each piece, until you get the bottom one there. Just congratulations, you have one. So now I can hover to the high scores. And you can see here my name is on. Easy. 977. The less moves, the higher the score. And you have the ability to open games, save games, view the high scores. And then you have the ability to exit the game. So to show save game, let's open a media level. And it's also save. Say move it from 1 to 3, 3, 3, 1. Save. Then I'm going to go over to open again, put my name, and it loads back. Press E to exit, a nice try, back to high scores, my name will not appear. The high scores are organized with the top score at the top and going downwards. So if you guys are interested in the source code, I may post this depending on the number of likes I get. So if you like this video, please like, and then you'll have the ability to view my source code. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and there's another video on my channel explaining how this program works. Thanks for watching.